wait. Sing? No, that is not happening. That's illegal in DC. Uh, we're live. All right, we're recording. We're live. This is for all posterity. Um, a few odds and ends before we get to the meat of this thing. This is new space this year. How many people were here in years past? Woo! Congratulations on fighting through the queue. Um, so, we're in a giant football, basically, and there's a ballroom over there, there's a ballroom over there. Uh, one of the neat things about the Washington Hilton is it's designed to prevent assassinations. Uh, <laughs> there's not a lot of line of sight um, inside the building. Um, outside the building there is, and that's where Reagan uh, got shot, um, which is ironically funny, because this is like the one hotel that has and my son's already throwing stuff at me, um, that actually has, like, they've got, like, uh, doors for both sides, so, like, the limo drives in, the doors come down, there's back hallways that people can move around in, uh, but the byproduct is, for mere mortals, it's a little hokey sometimes to get from room to room. So, a lot of you probably came in this back hall here, and then got to walk in, like, a red carpet entrance in front of everyone and wave. Hey, could you wave, sir? Yay, see, just like that. <laughs> He's like, I'm the man. Look at those guns. Um, Somebody's going to beat the crap out of me later. <laughs> there is behind us, however, stairs. And I know, for some of us, that, that might be difficult. Um, but there's, there's, stair there's a guy waving in the back. He's, he's, you've been lonely back there, right? No one's come in that door? Yeah. Um, there's stairs that you have to go up like a half a level and then drop back down to get into the other ballrooms, or go up a level and then come back down to get back to where the vendors are and that kind of thing. Um, I would encourage you to get a little exercise and use those stairs, because the back hallway is going to get crowded, that's going to be a lot faster and easier, and there's even like a place up there you can hang out and talk and that kind of thing. So, uh, cool? Bad. Nods, nods. Bad. bad, what? Exercise, bad. exercise is bad. And, and if you don't want to, that's fine, you know, you just take, it'll take longer. Um, your badges are pretty swank. Uh, they also uh, apparently kind of rip. So um, the little buttonhole, I guess we've already established some, there's some failure uh, when it's around your lanyard. I would encourage you to do some bad mod badge modification, a piece of tape, gum, uh, Kevlar, whatever you got in your pocket, uh, wrap it around that uh, or punch a new hole or something like that. So that's um, an interesting design problem. Just iron it to your pants. Is that Laura? Thank you. I, you'll do that for them, right? While they're wearing them. That's a special kind of kink there. A hot iron to your pants. Um, and oh, the parking garage is full. Uh, so those of you that are here already may not have experienced that problem, uh, but for those that are outside, hey guys, the parking garage is full. Uh, they're going to direct you across the street where the parking discount is not honored. Sorry. Ooh. Oh. Uh, anyway, uh, this woman's my hero. I think she's 80-some years old, 5 foot, 97 pounds, and she fended off a moose and saved her husband's life. So let's give it up for Dorothy Murphy. Woo! You'll, you'll note there is a moose. We'll get to him in a minute. Um, talks. So we're keeping the same schedule as last year. As much as we like to change things up, these are largely the same slides in the beginning as in years past. So uh, we, got, we get a little... Um, pinch for time here the last week of the con. Uh, we're going to have uh, one track mine in this room, starting as soon as I get done rambling. Uh, we'll have uh, Break It will then be in here tomorrow. Over there we'll be Bring It On, and over there we'll be Build It. Okay, again, use the stairs, get some exercise, we'll all be good. Um, Sunday, in years past, we had to do this hokey thing where we had like a bunch of little rooms and they got busted together and made one big room again. We don't have to do that, so there's no crazy breakdown, everybody get the hell out of the room. Uh, which is which is nice to be in here. Uh, we are, I guess that's about it. I'll get to the moose. That's what people want to know. Um, I haven't nicknamed this guy. We could have a contest to see who can come up with the best nickname. Um, Moosey would be lame. Um, Dorothy's bitch. Dorothy's bitch. Yes. <laughs> I like that one. Um, so here's the deal. Last year we tried uh, to replace the schmoo ball with the paddles, which was fun, uh, but honestly they were hard to read from any distance greater than about 20 feet. So someone, you even brought your paddles. You are prepared, sir. That's more of a bedroom toy now. Um, <laughs> you can write stuff on it and then it'll transfer. Um, <laughs> So uh, we decided not to do the paddles this year, and what we did instead, thanks to the, how do you guys want to be identified, or do you not want to be identified? Two points for that. <laughs> these guys up here, <laughs> they, can, they can be the guys in the front row group, uh, engineered these moose for us. And, are you shitting me? 
I'm the guy with the ringing cell phone. <laughs> no. Drink, yeah. No, is virus in here? Virus, are you here? All right, that's that's good. Virus had me drink once on stage, and that was I don't know. It was like some random number. There we go. Um, sorry about that. I'm the jackass. Uh, anyway, so the deal is here, you go to a web page, you go to moose.schmoocon.org, you enter in your barcode, and you can throw virtual schmoo balls, and the way that it manifests itself is the moose will get, at first, angry, and his eyes change to red to let you know that the moose is displeased with the speaker. <laughs> and then when the moose gets really angry and enough schmoo balls get thrown at it, he gets really upset. His eyes pulse, and eventually, let's wait for it. Tomorrow there'll be air horns. The, the air horns were purchased from Harbor Freight, um, which is, as I pointed out earlier, like a candy store where all the candy is arsenic. Um, <laughs> it looks really good, and then you get it home and go, oh, God, no. Um, so anyway, then the moose resets itself, and then it'll fill back up, and, and that's it. So this is how we're keeping speakers honest. So for those of you that are unfamiliar with the, the, the schmoo ball and how, how this came to be, when we started ShmooCon, one of our goals was to hold speakers accountable for what they were saying on stage. It's shockingly easy to have a paper accepted at a security conference, especially when we have 200 plus domestic security conferences every year, right? And the people that are on stage are, you know, people that, I mean, you may not know from Adam, they may not be formally trained. Um, does that make it good or bad? I, I'm not the one to say that. I dropped out of college, um, you know, went to a state school in Alaska. Anyone else go to UAF? Did, uh, yeah, well, I know you, and you didn't graduate. And she went, she didn't graduate. I went, I didn't graduate. No one graduates from that school. We all go up there and get cold, and we forget what we're doing, and we move back down. But people get up on stage, and they espouse stuff. And the press writes about this stuff. And we go home, and we tell our coworkers about this stuff. And the stuff may be lies, or just not really academically sound. You know, it hasn't been thought through. And so what we did is we armed people with these foam rubber balls, and we said, if you disagree with the speaker, just beat them with a damn ball. Um, and it worked really well for a number of years. The problem is, um, I think, so it, A, we didn't really change the design of the ball over the years. It was the same size, so that allowed people to adapt their weaponry. Um, and so for the first uh, 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 snowpocalypse, there was a schmoo ball launching contest uh, where the winner, um, I think, was Larry. Uh, Larry, and he had a pneumatic thing that actually was scary to watch arm itself. And when it fired and hit me in the chest, and there's an honest to God, there's a speedometer app for your iPhone, or you can get one, um, and it said 200 plus on it. And from what we could tell, that was accurate. Um, it hit me in the chest, it hurt like a bitch. Um, and we decided that, that, you know, that might be enough of the schmoo ball. <laughs> That's probably, we're probably done with that. So uh, we nixed the schmoo ball last year. We went to these paddles to try to get people to write things on their paddles. Uh, there were thankfully very few dongs. It was mostly uh, actually legitimate comments. Um, you know, griefing with paddles is always exciting. Uh, but this year we're trying something different. So please give us your feedback on if you like the moose. Uh, is the moose hot right now? It's hot. So you, know, you could be you know, arming the moose right now. Um, there is some, well, some, some prizes with the moose. Anyway, uh, the network. Uh, the network is hot again. We uh, ran labs. How many people in here are in labs? Most of them are in the lab. Uh, these are like the guys running it, so they can just screw off. You're like, yeah, we're out of here. <laughs> um, we don't run uh, our network as like a, hey, guys, just go set up the network and, uh, you know, get it done and let it, let it get online. We try to run it as an educational thing. So here's the deal. When you run a conference, a lot of conferences have training, which is great. But training doesn't come cheap. And that's not really, uh, you know, I can appreciate uh, other uh, events and people need to get trained.